HP Calcs. I'm Rick, and today we're going to look at how to store and recall or use the memory on the Sharp EL 531XT calculator. To do this, we'll be using the STO for store key located here, the RCL key for recall right here, as well as the alpha key to help define our slots located right here. All right, so this calculator has a total of eight temporary memory slots numbered or lettered A through F located here, A, B, C, D, E, and F. It also has two more number lettered X and Y located here, but I would recommend against using these ones because they can be overwritten when doing other calculations. It also has an independent memory slot, M, located here. These temporary memories can be erased by pressing the home key to clear them. When this happens, the independent memory or M memory will not be erased. All right, let's try entering some data and see how this goes. All right, we'll start by entering some data. So let's put the first number we want to store, number 10 on the screen. And then if we want to store it into the A slot, we would press STO and then this A button here. Here at the top of the screen, we said see 10 going into A. So this means 10 has been stored as A. Now we'll put 500 store into B. There we go, 500 into B and five store into C. All right, now these three numbers should have been stored. If we wanna make sure they're stored, we can recall them. So if we recall A, we see A equals 10, which is correct. Recall B, 500, yep. And recall C, which is five. Okay, it looks good. Now, if we want to recall these numbers and use them in the calculation, we can use the RCL key located here. Let's say we wanted to do this calculation with these numbers we had previously saved. Imagine they were very complex numbers that we couldn't just easily write down. We would use the RCL key to recall our A slot. There we go. Plus RCL, our B slot. Minus our C slot right there, minus C. Oh, that didn't work. Recall C, there we go, equals 505, which is correct. We can also use these storage slots for complex equations and uh, known formulas, say Pythagoras theorem for finding out the length of a side of a right angle triangle. This equation is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, which can be rewritten as square root of a squared plus b squared equals c. Let's say we have this triangle here with our four and four length side and our three length side. Well, we'll say this is a, this is b, and this is c. So if we store our four as a, there we go, four into A, our three into B. There we go. So we have our two known distances. Now we want to do our calculation, which is the square root of A squared plus B squared. Start with the square root, and then we can use alpha to bring back the storage slots as letters. So alpha A squared plus alpha b squared and let's put brackets around this just so we're sure that the square root applies to everything there there we go square root of a squared plus square root of b squared this should give us our c equals equals five there we go, that's the right answer.
And now if we wanted to, we could store this again. Let's store this in D. There we go. And if we wanted to bring back that answer, again, recall D or alpha D equals. Either way works fine. Now, what if we wanted to erase our known slots to make room for doing another formula? Well, we simply press the home key and that will have cleared our storage slots. So if we try to recall A, we see it's zero. We call B, still zero. So our saved data has been erased. But like I said, the M slot is independent and will be saved. So let's say we store 100 in our M. There we go, 100 into M. Then we press the home key. Recall M. We st see we still have our 100. So this slot will remain. All right, I hope this helps and good luck on those tests.